Hello and welcome to another Sonic Generations modding tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how the Change BGM Collision works. Have you ever wondered how the game does this? Well, this is done with the Change BGM Collision. As the name implies, you can change the background music to something else, and then back again throughout the stage. Now the way this works is kinda complicated, but I'll try to condense it into a tiny package. If you haven't watched the first tutorial on how to make a music CSP, please go back and watch it. The link will be in the description and up here. Alright, let's begin. First, set up your sound elements and synth nodes like usual. Create a normal track and a boost track. Or not, it's up to you. Usually, you'd name them whatever you like. But for this to work, the names need to be very specific. You can use the following names. Speed Highway underscore generic 1, Speed Highway underscore generic 2, and Speed Highway underscore generic 3, with capital letters at the start of each word. The third one is actually a version of Add Dawn that was never implemented into the game, but it still works. You can also use City Escape underscore generic 1 and City Escape underscore generic 2. So in total, you have 5 music slots to work with. Yeah. 5. Alright, let's name all these correctly. Don't forget to put Streaming on True for all sound element nodes. Keep in mind, you can set up ASACs for boost and underwater filters. Just make sure you sort everything neatly in its own folder. Once they work, build your CSB and drop it into the sound directory like usual. Next, find the stage.xml of the stage you want to modify. Open it up in Notepad++ or XML Notepad. If you're using XML Notepad, look for the BGM folder. Open it up like so, then right-click and click Copy. Go to the blue circle, click it and paste it there. The song that you want to be played first needs to be at the bottom and not the top. So first, we'll add Speed Highway underscore generic 2 at the top here and then speed highway underscore generic 1 at the bottom. Next up, when you're done, save it and just replace. 
if something breaks, like, I don't know, if stage geometry won't load, or you appear in a black void of death, or something, you probably messed up something here. Okay, now for the fun part. Open up Sonic G level 5.7, preferably since 0.9 still isn't complete. It's been five years, guys, seriously. <laughs> Now place your collision anywhere, with the yellow arrow pointing like how it's shown here to activate the collision. Now Q on front basically means what will be played when you're going towards the collision, so forward basically. Q on back means when you're going backwards or dying. If you die, the BGM which is stated on the other side will play, since the game assumes you're going backwards. So for this example, if you want the second song to play when going forward, Q on front should be 1, since in programming language, 1 is actually 2, 0 is 1, and 2 is 3, and 4 is 5, so on. Be sure to work on the sound layer so the stage doesn't break. If something isn't working right, just save the sound layer and grab a clean file, and only replace the required XMLs only, instead of loading it in G-Level. Alright, we're done. Now to test it in-game. Yay, it works! Now you can add a ton of tracks to a stage. This is pretty useful for a certain project Mario is working on. <clears throat> that concludes this tutorial. If you enjoy my voice, follow me on my channel. I mainly do video game music covers and stuff like that. So check that out if you want. Also, thanks to Mario for thinking my voice is good enough for his videos. Go subscribe to him. Well, not go subscribe, you're already here. You know what I mean. <laughs> Press the subscribe button under the video, right now. Or else. Alright, bye.